Hey guys, got the uh, Cold Steel Mini Recon 1. Um, I got the Mini, I mean, generally for folders, this is kind of the size I'll go for because I like getting the uh, something that's good for everyday carry. Um, you know, and I don't really want anything too much bigger than this um, for myself. Um, probably in between that six to seven inch range overall is is max because I mean I don't think you really, you really need that much and then plus uh, in Canada I mean you gotta watch for legality of what you're carrying um, but uh, I wanted this uh, this knife, because uh, I want to try the triad lock. Um, I wanted a tough knife. And this one I mainly got to, for a, kind of a secondary knife if I'm, or primary if I'm hiking or going outdoors, anything like that. Cause, and I wanted something really tough that won't, wouldn't fail me and I wouldn't have to worry about the locking or anything. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so far it's been great. I mean, uh, this one I actually didn't realize when I was buying it. This one has the new uh, DLC coating and the upgraded steel. Not the Oz 8, but the CTS, uh, you know, XHP here. And uh, also the, uh, the handle scales, um, the G10. Uh, isn't as um, rough as they used to be so and uh, this has held up fine so far I haven't put any crazy you know hard use um, I, you know, on the most part you know, sometimes I might have to abuse the knife but on the most part I try not to use it for anything it's that's gonna really destroy it especially um, this is not a cheap knife not for me, not for, you know, an everyday carry type of knife anyways. Um, in US dollars, I think it's, you know, $90, um, which is not cheap. Um, now, it's, it's good, it's well made, and it definitely feels like it's tough, and everything I've done with it shows no different. Um, but once it gets transferred over to Canadian dollars, it's pretty damn expensive. Um, and then with taxes and everything, of course. So this ends up being a hundred and some odd dollar knife. And so that's, uh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's tough to swallow. Um, which you'll probably hear that a lot from me and this channel comparing prices just because that's something we have to live with in Canada here. Um, I just uh, was taking the uh, coating off the uh, pocket clip. I was going to see about maybe doing that to the whole thing. Um, but I haven't gotten to it yet. I kind of thought I'd let some more wear get to the coating first and then I'll, I'll take it all off. But uh, yeah, the thumb stud, you can switch on both sides. It could be amb ambidextrous, but kind of on its own, it already is just this side's uh, uh, got the longer side. But you can still open it left-handed. It's just got a smaller stud. Um, yeah, it came pretty sharp. Um, the angle of the grind is actually slightly different on each side so it's not that great considering it's not cheap but you know it's got this plunge uh, kind of choil grind here so you can sharpen it all the way I mean, kind of would have been nice if it was sharpened right to the edge of there but um, but yeah, it's it's pretty comfortable. This uh, I guess uh, jimping, I guess 
if that's what it's supposed to be on the back. Um, you know, maybe maybe it does a little something, but you know, it's, it's not gonna, it's not really doing doing much. But it it feels all right in the hand. Um, you know, you only have really that way to hold it because the uh, the contours. But it feels good. G10 feels good, and uh, you know, a lot of a lot of these kind of wider blades I like because you can come up on them and you have a lot of purchase and kind of get up nice and close this way. So uh, I got a Spyderco Persistence, you know, that's got a wide blade and a, I do the same thing. So, um, if you're wanting an, a tough knife like this, I recommend it. Um, it's expensive, um, so be ready for that, you know, you can always try looking for used knives, but uh, if you want it brand new, you'll have to uh, pay the pay the price um, but yeah I do recommend it it's good um, it's held up really well for me and even the tip I mean uh, this has been stabbed into wood and even uh, trees I was cutting down trees I was just uh, cutting into thick bark so it's uh, uh, yeah there we go um, cutting into thick bark just stabbing into trees checking uh, some trees while I was cutting them in um, tips still uh, very sharp um, yeah and uh, this steel's kept an all right edge um, so and the triad lock I uh, I like it hasn't gone to the point where I can flick it open but uh, it's still got a lot of spring tension even though I've had it for a long time so, but it's very, very tough. All right, hope that helps. You guys have a good one.